Thanks very much for coming, guys. Nice to be here. I'm, I'm curious here. How did you decide who who sits where tonight? I would think there's always I've come sort of on a the show three times before, so I get pride of place. The next time we come on, Gene can sit here. Because I saw Gene start to sit down I over saw here, that and you too. body checked him out of the I, way. I noticed that well, myself. It wasn't intentional. It happens a lot. My God, this is a, there really is a palpable tension in the room right now. Yeah. Which I've observed before. Is there? Uh, let's talk about. Gene this for is the a only person who tells a joke, and it creates palpable tension. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done that many times that myself. Laughter. Now, uh, I'm curious, Gene. You haven't been on the program before. Yeah, the Roger's why, been here uh, over 40 uh, times. I know. The reason why is, I've been protesting that the Max Weinberg Seven, one of the great all-time bands, hasn't been able to play a song for the full, a full song. And now I've got the assurance from you backstage that before the year is out. Max Weinberg 7 will do an entire song, and I'm really excited about that. I would suggest, for example, whenever I'm talking, Max could play kind of softly in the background, and whenever Gene talks, they could bring it up and cut to him. <laughs> okay. Be nice. Max, you gonna do that? Are you gonna play a full song sometime later in the show to appease Gene's No, no, for the year. Mm, Just to we have to learn year. a full song. <laughs> <laughs> know a full song. Whenever they play the Beatles tune, that's as much of it as they know. They're not aware there's more to it. No, Roger's my advanced man. He's my taster, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's the kind, you know. That's well, this, this begs the question, who's the, who's the dominant of the species here, okay? It's, it's, it's Siskel and Ebert, well, right? Well, only, only one Sis of us, only one of us can be older. Only one of us can come first in the alphabet. Only one of us has won a Pulitzer Prize. Only one of us has published 11 books. And only one of us lost a coin flip. That's how it happened? That's how you decided? Flip, yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And so is there any chance, uh, plan to change it at any point? Gene? I don't think so. <laughs> what was the original deal? The original deal was supposed to be, it was a four-year deal we had when we started in syndicated television. It was, and the coin flip was, who gets the first two years? And so we went out, we shot the openings of the show, like you guys have openings mm -hmm. of the show, mm -hmm. and we forgot to shoot it both ways. Mm -hmm. So they didn't want to spend the money to reshoot it, Ebert and Siskel, so it mm -hmm. stayed Siskel and Ebert. Another way to put it is that when you brought us out, you could have said, we've been together for two of the longest years in history. <laughs> now, but, well, now, wait a minute. My, my question is this. Would people accept Ebert and Siskel? I don't would, think that, so. would that roll it off the roll, tongue? It rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. I, uh, Come on, try, it, try it. it, try it, try it, try it. At least Everyone try say it. Ebert and Siskel try on it. three. One, two, three. Ebert and Siskel. Ah, it does not. Say, it doesn't everyone work. say Richter and O'Brien? Richter and O'Brien. Yeah, that sounds fine. <laughs> Ebert. 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 Hey, Ebert. Ebert, get over here. Andy, what the just, hell was that? Just look at it. It was a slip. Just look at it as, as you're the headliner. That's right. Yeah, of course. See, I like yeah, that. Give me, that. give me the secret grip there. University of Illinois. Yeah, yeah that's oh. right. Yeah. Oh. We share a here. sort of Oski Wow Wow, right? Oski Wow Wow. Oski right. Wow Wow. Yes. Yeah. Intellectual crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Who, uh, who thought of, uh, of the two of you, who thought of the thumbs up? The I Romans th did. Yeah. It was the it was a, it was well, the Romans. Well, you know, I just I got a letter now from a guy who writes for the Toronto Globe and Mail, mm -hmm. pointing out that when the Romans said thumbs up, that didn't mean good. That meant the Christian dies. Mm -hmm. Thumbs down means the Christian lives. So basically, so when you guys like a movie, no, it means the Christian dies. And I wrote back. And I, said, yeah. I wrote back. I wrote back. <laughs> two guy, Christians should die. Yeah, that's what that's what that's, that's what it means. Godfather two, kill yeah. them all. Yeah, Jerry, yeah. Jerry Maguire, two Christians must die. <laughs> right. I, what is that? That's I said, an e that's an interesting, we can follow that if we wanted to. <laughs> Listen, I sent a letter back to the guy from Toronto, and uh -huh. I said that what he didn't understand was the Romans were giving the thumbs to the lions, not the Christians. Oh, This okay. means you get yeah. to eat a Christian. All right. I but when you guys saved that letter. <laughs> you think he saved that letter? I don't think he saved I that I probably letter. did. It's yeah. on his hard disk right no, now. No, actually, Roger thought of the thumbs up. We had an intellectual property decision when we moved to syndication. Yes, changed we were syndication. giving yes and no votes, and that was intellectual exactly. property. Yeah. <laughs> but I was the one that actually came up with two thumbs up. Roger thought of three thumbs up, four thumbs up, five thumbs up. I said, let's make it two. I thought that was a clever do you ever idea. Two, do you two ever just start slapping each other? Is that ever happened? You happen? want us to? No, but yes, it's a I'd good idea. That. That. I think all of America would like to see the two of you start to settle things by just slapping, and the one that get cries us, first. Get us some of those big gloves like the clowns wear. Oh, we have those backstage. No, just we wouldn't that do that on television. No, that wouldn't we be dignified for critics no, to do that. No. no, no, no. You only do the dignified stuff. Let yes. Gene Shallot yeah. do that. Well, right? I do. Look, for example, the last time I was on the show, I posed with a pound of bacon and was attacked by a bear. Now I felt that was dignified. I think that's. I think that's probably why you haven't come. That's exactly come right. By. I, have right. A, I have a no bacon clause in my. Uh, here. Very nice. All right, we're going to take a little break, but we have a lot to talk about. We haven't gotten anything yet. We'll have more with Cisco and Ebert in just a moment. So stick around.